Well, Carl, thanks for inviting me. <laughs> Don't get out very often, except for here. Um, anyways, I'm Deb Heldman, running for election to one school board. Oh, that made your face go. What happened? <laughs> anyway, a little bit about myself. I have a bachelor's in liter literature. I have a master's in education. Uh, I work as an advanced application engineer for Siemens software side. We've <laughs> been doing that for 12 years. It's a fancy word for, uh, you call me, I fix your PC. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's the way it works. Anyway, I decided to run for the Lexington School Board because they spend way too much money. They're top heavy. Uh, we need to reduce the amount of administration. We need to re reduce the paychecks of administration. We need to give the teachers encouragement by raising their salaries. They're by far the lowest paid teachers I've ever seen. Um, I want to make teachers accountable, so I'm going to put in place, I don't know if they'll go for it, but teacher accountability. That means that the teacher is responsible for how their students do. I want them to stop passing kids who are failing. I don't want them to get the D minus and say, oh, okay, go to the next class. If I can fail a class in college, take it again and get an A in it, so can a student that's in grade school or high school. It's not going to hurt them. Uh, we didn't learn to ride bicycles by being perfect the first time. We fell a lot. And that's what an education is. In order to understand where a student is, mentally and for their education, they have to fail. It's part of life. If you start a business, it doesn't always work. Maybe it'll work the second time, the third time, but not the first time. So let's give them encouragement. I want the parents to be behind the students. I want them to quit saying, push my kid through. Give my kid this because he deserves it. He doesn't deserve it if he hasn't earned it. We need to stop building fancy palaces for schools. There is a high school in Blythewood that has included every class that the new school's additions handle. Their school is running perfectly. I talked to a parent in Pelion. Her daughter went to the technology side. I was kind of surprised at what she learned. She learned to be a hairdresser in the technology area. Now, I would have thought that would have been computing, learning how to use Microsoft Office, learning how to give presentations. It was a beauty school. And I wouldn't be angry about it, but this kid can't get a job. She hasn't got the background in a beauty school in order to get a job in a beauty shop. So she's stymied. So we have allowed somebody to graduate high school that's not going to get a job. But we trained her to get a job. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Yes, David? But she has to get a license. Did she take the test with the... Uh... She didn't pass it. Huh? She didn't pass the test. She doesn't have the knowledge to pass the test to get the license. In other words, they didn't teach But she graduated from high school. Yes. So to be a beautician, she is now going to have to go to a to beauty, beauty school. school. Again. Which, if they worked it the right way, where you have an apprenticeship, you are under somebody in a beauty school, or the beauty school allows the high school student to work there, saying, okay, we'll give you a temporary so you can at least learn with a beautician and do this with a beautician and get some knowledge, that would be different. But they're not doing that. They're just pushing an education to come out. That's wrong. Sorry. So if I'm elected, I want to change things. But I'm going to need a lot of help to get there because you have to have people behind you mind you where you are. I think the board needs to be reduced in number. I think nine is a ridiculous number for people to sit up there and just say, yes, yes, pass that bill. Yes, that's perfect. Or to have a slideshow. I think iPads were a ridiculous idea for the school. Could have been a good idea. But first thing, it hides the books from the parents so they don't have to read them. They don't have to look through them and see what the children are learning. It might not be what you and I want our kids to learn. Second, kids are smart. They know how to break it so that they can get the internet on it. 
so as David told me, what happened? They all flunked. Because teachers on her iPad doing her thing and they're playing their games. We need to control things. This is out of hand. So hopefully I get elected. Yes. Um, I've heard from a school teacher, I think you, you talked a little bit to it. Uh, uh, they have to teach to the test, and if they get a 50, they got to pass them. Yes. Um, I mean, if, if they fail it, they got to pass them. The reason for that is the school district and the state want good numbers so they look like they're actually ahead when they're not. And the other thing is the wonderful SATs, the PSATs that the kids have to have in order to get into high school and the, the RAM test to get into college, they're being taught it. Sort of like going to CWP class, and they go, oh, well, we'll give you all the answers so you can just pass the test. That's what they're doing to the kids. That is not teaching the kids how to gain an education. That's teaching them how to cheat. And it's got to stop. I got that straight from their uh, yearly, their annual report. And they were so proud that only 13 cents on the dollar went to the student. They thought that was fantastic because everything goes to administration. It goes to building the buildings and doing whatever they want to do. At this Superintendents. Yeah. So what's the 13 cents? 13 cents is what the kids get for their education, for their books, whatever. Everybody that's what the schools that's get. That's the amount of money spent on the child for learning. And for now learning. their funds were reduced, and they're going to have to use their slush fund in order to make up the difference. Which figure is Which the they've already said they will. Which figure is the teacher in? 87% of the... 87%. And she's at the bottom of the 87%. Yes, sir. The supervising principal makes almost 180000 a year. Yes, I know. That's like 50000 more than the government. And we really don't need most of those people. No. Too many districts. That's not counting expenses. No. Yes, sir. Uh, well, you need to tell everybody, if they want to read what's going on in the school district, go to their website and read what they plan, their plans are all your children and grandchildren. It tells you about, they want to make them good citizens of the world and all kinds of things. Y'all need to start going to school board. And they've people. already implemented STEM, so you're out of luck if you think your kid's going to get normal it's math. all Agenda 21. I, it's for everything they're teaching and doing in this country and all over the world. It's for control. They right now are saying in the UN for the world order, they're going to have to cut the world population by 80% to do it, to, to maintain a good level on this earth. Mm -hmm. And they can do it by starvation and no medical treatment. And vaccination. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.